if she doesn't understand something immediately, um, I'll ask her what she thinks it means. Um, very careful now that I'm not spoon feeding her. I'll ask her what her opinions are, what she thinks was meant by that. And then I'll clarify what the exact meaning was. I will have that in the back of my head for a couple of days and we'll come back to it. It might be two days later where we're sat having that meal, it'll pop into my head and I'll revisit it in some form or another. It won't be direct, it won't be a direct question. I might pick an area of discussion and just hope that we come round to that particular word choice or that particular concept that she's not understood. And that seemed to be worked quite well with her. Phoebe often, she often gets words wrong. So she'll, she'll have heard somebody say something and she'll repeat it, but she'll repeat it incorrectly. And, and it's just, we just correct her just so that she then knows how to use a word properly. So she, she's always trying to use a new word, but she doesn't often get, but she doesn't always get them right. And also she'll come to us and say, Daddy, what does this mean? She'll have heard a word somewhere and she'll want to know the meaning of it. Whereas a hearing child will will pick a word up easier and be able to use it. They might not know what it means, but they'll be able to use it and say it correctly. Phoebe will maybe pick up half a word, make up the other half, and and use it and still not know what it means, but using the, actually using the wrong word. So it's just we just then when she does use it, we just correct her in a nice, fun way and so she can use it properly. I would say it probably was more like six years old. He was talking same as his brother, but not perhaps understanding or saying the words, the vocabulary as broad, really. You know, it's a bit like um, Guy can say a word and he'll know it instantly, whereas Jake would be like, hmm, he can say it really well, but doesn't know what it means. So we just have to explain that more for him. Although this September we actually finished with a communication support worker and ended up with a TA, less hours, but we've asked her to go through things with him uh, and it's the vocabulary really.